And we're live! Woohoo! So, I wanted to um, try this more of a, as a more of a regular session uh, where we can talk and I can answer any questions that you might, you guys might have and just spend some time um, understanding each other and maybe helping each other because I think this is what we need to do in this day and age. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to secure my phone because so basically this time I'm live streaming from my phone. Hello, uh, meet Dakar. <laughs> um, I'm live streaming from my phone because um, oh, friend of mine. Oh god, friend of mine, and um, he, he used to be my colleague. Uh, he's amazing. He used to work on the um, on the YouTube. Oh my god, what was it called? Creative Creative Support. No, Creative Solutions. Sorry. Creative Solutions, um, he um, recommended that I uh, live stream from my phone. So here I am and I'm trying to secure it, but it's not really working. Is this better? Yes, this looks better. So I'm trying to open my channel in the meantime, just so that I can see your comments. But hey guys, I'm, I'm, um, I'm finally, I'm, I'm glad that you got the time and that you're here. Hi, Yule. Um, it's very nice to see you. Um, hi, Verhim. Um, I'm very, very happy to see you guys and I'm opening the, oh God, this thing needs to be, um, muted. So yeah, now I have your comments over here. I'm very happy because I'm not going to m miss anything. And hi Luciano, hi from the US. So today I want to talk about skill building and the different resources that you guys are using because it looks like there's so many online and it's impossible to find something that fits everyone. So I just want to hear from you, what are you using? And um, in the meantime, I'll also be uh, answering questions and all that stuff. But recently I've been buying a lot of courses on Udemy and uh, we've spoken, um, we've spoken a lot about the different, different uh, ones that, um, you can find there and I've recently bought a really really cool um cybersecurity one so I wanted to tell you what it is. Um let me see let me see my courses so it's called the complete cybersecurity it's loading um complete cybersecurity course hackers exposed and apparently it's very good and um it's one part one out of four and if it says that if you do all the four parts, um, you will know as much as most people who work in cybersecurity know. So uh, I don't know if that's a promise that they will keep, but that's pretty cool. Um, but let me just answer your questions really quickly. Which language do you prefer for programming PHP, Java, and HTML? Well, uh, to be honest, I'm not a programmer for um, this is not my job. I'm learning how to code and I want to understand how things work. So, so far I have had experience with HTML. I haven't had experience with Java or PHP. I've also coded in, um, oh my God, cascading, cascading style sheets, CSS, Jesus. Sorry, I still haven't had my coffee. It's still like on the stove. It's still being prepared. So my brain is a mush uh, right now. But uh, yeah, I've, I've coded on that. I've coded on Ruby. I've coded on JavaScript. I haven't tried the ones that you've uh, mentioned, so I can't really tell what's my preference. And there's a sign that my coffee is ready. Let's go take it. Yay. Oh my God, caffeine. Where's my mug? I have my YouTube mug. You like it? Um... So, really quickly, I'll show you what's happening here, if I don't fill. Yay! Okay, the, the, the liquid of life. Do you guys drink coffee? How, how do you like it? I like mine with some soy milk, because I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have normal milk. Um, and actually I have almond milk here because, because apparently it's better for your health. 
but um, yeah, I'm not seeing your comments here for some reason, which is weird. But in any case, um, I'm about to return to my laptop where I'll see them. Oh, there it is. Oh, use Code Academy to learn language. Lady as a programmer, hats off. I'm addicted to this liquid. Yes, Ildar, I'm with you. Um, and yes, Safraz, um, that coffee is so dark. It's so great. So with some milk, it will be, it will be good. So, and the comments disappear right now. I don't know, this is really, really strange. But yeah, how do you guys like your coffee? Do, do you drink it first thing in the morning or do you wait until you're um, in that space when you're about to collapse or when you realize that you can't remember the, the name or the abbreviation of CSS, just like I did, which was great. Um, all right, let's get back to your questions. Woohoo! So, um, Yula is saying that my mom is saying hi, who is editing a video from Mexico. Yula, please say hi to mom and send her my love. Um, my mom is in Russia currently, just like my sister, and I miss them a lot. Um, okay, so I've already read the viral trend um, comment. Um, yes, Safra's Code Academy is great. Um, actually, fun story, fun fact, I know, so one of my friend's husband is actually the person who wrote, um, he was an intern, summer intern at Code Academy when it was just starting, and he wrote most of the courses, which is amazing. I really want to do an interview with him at some point, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, wait for that. It will be on my channel. They, they live in New York. So if I make a trip out to New York, I'll definitely make it happen. Just like videos with all the cool people in New York, because there's so many of you guys out there. Um, yes, we've already established that you're addicted to this liquid, Ildar. Uh, Safraz, yes, it's not dark anymore. I don't know if you can see it. Um, here it is. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's drinkable. Um, then WordPress and SQL wait, um, website are easy to hack. I am not sure, I'm not a hacker, so I don't know uh, the specifics of hacking, but um, this is why I'm doing a cybersecurity um, course, and this is why I'm super, super interested in that, because I feel like this is, the future, really. Um, this and maybe the blockchain technology. Um, how much does a programmer earn in Google? <laughs> Luciano, I'm not a programmer and I wasn't a programmer at Google. I was in the business side of things. But I have to tell you, they were earning way more than we were. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a good position. Google is very tough on who they um, hire, but once they do, uh, because they want to hire the best of the best people, the most talented people, right? And but once they do hire you, they they treat you really well. Um, hi Anurag, I'm glad you've had your dinner. I'm having my coffee. Unfortunately, time differences are fun, as you can see. So um, it is nine a.m. here. I unfortunately can't do it much earlier because. I couldn't remember CSS now, and that's already nine, and this is my first coffee, but before that, I wouldn't have been alive. Um, Ibrahim says, I like milk in my coffee, I usually drink it in the university before class. That's a smart idea, because it's, it's, good, um, it, it's good to be caffeinated for class. What are you studying, and where? Please tell me. Um, and Safraz, that will be awesome sure what you're referring to um jordan um so your question is about the interview process for google um <laughs> sorry guys i just received a text message from my boyfriend saying that he took his sales meeting from a hot tub anyway <laughs> um um, the Google interview process is long and it's fun, uh, but um, fun in the sense that you have to prepare a lot. And I actually wrote a blog post. So if you go on codingblonde.com, that's my 
website, guys. Uh, if you go on codingbond.com, you will find it uh, there. That's the last blog post that I've written. I will write a couple, probably this week, actually, because uh, I want to talk about net neutrality. And um, yeah, if you go on my blog post, there's uh, a lot of information on how you can uh, search for a career, uh, for a job at Google, on how you can um, see what skills they need and also where you can apply. But also I talk about, um, talk about the interview process and the different attributes they, they're looking for in you. So basically, just to generalize, if you're interviewing with Google, they want to see, um, they want to test you for your cognitive abilities, the general cognitive skills, how smart are you basically. And that doesn't mean that you have to be a genius, but they want to see how you think. That means the logic, how you are answering a certain question. Then um, they, they want to see um, role-related knowledge. So the role you're applying for, are you good for it? Are you skilled for it? Do you have experience doing that? So cognitive abilities, role-related knowledge, leadership skills, because they want to make sure that you would be able to to be a potential leader and it's just it's important for them uh so basically if you can talk about all the times when you were you had emotional intelligence you led a team but it's not like leadership not in the case of dictator lead a dictator leader but like in the sense of an empathetic leader that empowers their team and makes them better and makes them more creative more passionate and a lot of stuff, more productive in the end. And the last one is googliness. Googliness is a really weird concept. Um, it's basically um, whether you fit in the Google culture. And the Google culture is, is it's, it's pretty cool. It's, um, you know, when people are open-minded, follow their passions, curious, they have hobbies on the side. So basically all these things. So talk about your hobbies, talk about how open-minded you are and all that stuff. <laughs> well, not necessarily don't talk about how open-minded you are. Hi, Uliana! Oh my god, guys! Uliana is here. Uliana was... So, so she is um, a YouTube creator. So her, her channel is Ulielie, if you see that in the comment section. Um, she is a booktuber, the biggest booktuber in Russia. Um, and she's amazing. I love her and I miss her so much because she was a YouTube ambassador and she still is um, it's just she was a YouTube ambassador when I was there oh I miss you Liana okay let me go back to the question um, oh wow so um, Meatpacker asked me about SQL and database so I know the basics um, but I am not good at talking about how well protected they are and anything because you, your previous question was about hacking them and I don't really know. Um, Safraz, that was for the Code Academy person interview. Oh, great, thank you. Yes, I will try to do it. It won't come in the next few months. It will be some time, but watch out for my videos. And also, if you have any suggestions, this goes to all of you guys, if you have any suggestions for my uh, videos for my uh, blog posts and everything just let me know because I love feedback and also if you know if, you, if my video will make you happier um, if I know what will make you happy I'll make it <laughs> um, then currently as Ibrahim is currently doing a CS major at um, Nooses, Nooses in Islamabad that's awesome that's awesome. How's that going? I've heard that CS and I'm planning to take some computer science modules next semester if I can. Um, apparently it's very logic oriented. It's not so much coding, but it's more logic oriented. So what do you think? Um, Anurag, try free code camp. I find it uh, best as it has projects from basic to advanced check if you can. I will, thank you so much. And guys, if you need a coding resource, free code camp apparently is good. So we can try it, let's try it together. Um, Jonathan Fidelis, hey, what's up? By the way, I drink coffee because it's 11 p.m. now, you do need caffeine. How are you gonna sleep, Jonathan? 
Like, come on. <laughs> also, um, for you, um, I already mentioned it. I don't know if you uh, saw it or not, but you and I were talking about this, um, about the course that I did on cybersecurity. And I can tell you what it's called now. It's called the Complete Cybersecurity Course Hackers Exposed. Let me show you what it looks like. Woohoo, this guy. I've not started it, as you can see. <laughs> not yet. I haven't had time. Um, but yeah, let me go back to my comment. Because this, I have to say, feedback to YouTube, I don't always see your comments here, which is not helpful. Um, Antonella. Hi, Masha. I'm so glad I didn't miss your live stream. I just caught your live story for the live stream and thought it was so funny, but clearly it did work. Yay! Thank you! I am so awkward with live streams and live stuff. And to be honest, I'm very awkward when filming my videos. Maybe next time I film my video, I will live stream that because I, I have to say, Hi, my name is Masha. I'm the Coding Blonde literally five times and then I take the best cut because I'm gonna be like hi my name is Masha I'm the good and blonde hi my name is Masha. and like I say bye 15,000 times and all that stuff so yeah um I'm very awkward so maybe actually I will live stream next time I'm filming a video um but I'm glad it worked yay where's my water I'm getting very thirsty all right um, Elias. Hi Marsha, I like your channel so much. I have a question. Uh, you may may have an experience with React.js or do you know something about it? So actually I... So the reason why I haven't had, uh, haven't released a video in a while is because I got stuck with frameworks. Um, I was planning to create a video on frameworks and AngularJS and ReactJS were some of the frameworks that I wanted to explore, but I have a tough time understanding them. So I have tried to go into it, but I don't have experience with it, unfortunately, because I'm still trying to break through and understand because before I make a video, obviously I have to understand a concept really well because then I can create an example from a blonde dictionary and stuff. But I have to admit, I had a problem with React.js. Have you, have you started learning it? Because if you know where I can learn it well, please let me know, because I am struggling big time. So yeah, I'm waiting for your comment here. <laughs> Shlomo, uh, don't drink too much coffee, it may cause osteoporosis. I drink two cups a day, that's my maximum, and I drink them before 4 p.m because otherwise I won't fall asleep. So I'm very cautious with my coffee. It's just, I need it to wake up. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Techno Meats. So that's Meat Thakar. That, that is his channel name. Okay, guys, check out his channel, Techno Meats. I will check it out after this live stream because I can't do it live exactly. But yeah, and Jonathan, you're very welcome. I hope you enjoy it because I'm excited to take it too. Um, Ildar, do you learn something related to algorithms, data structures? Um, so I am planning to do um, CS module next because uh, I work at a university right now. And so from what I understand, I'm allowed to take or audit some classes, which is amazing and uh, for free. I'm super lucky, super lucky. And I'm planning to do that. So I hope that I'll learn more about data structures there. But um, yeah, I've done a couple of um, SQL classes. That was good. Um, yeah, but otherwise I haven't really done much data structures. Are you, are you learning that? Because that's that's obviously very, very interesting. Especially I feel like in the wake of the uh, blockchain technology, I feel like data structure is gonna be humongous. So please let me know if you're learning this. Guys, share all your resources, please, because obviously you know some, I know some. If we combine it all and I can share it with other people, we're just like, let's just share them with each other. Hopefully we can increase our abilities and stuff. 
Um, oh God, oh God, sorry. I have a Facebook message that just popped up. Um, as you said, CS is logic oriented. That's Ibrahim talking. Um, programming is just a tool to implement your logic. It's all about math and algorithms. I got into CS. Oh my God, sorry. Um, I got into um, CS because I was fascinated by data science and artificial intelligence. That's amazing. And artificial intelligence. So I've been to talking about how everything is the future. Artificial, artificial intelligence is the future as well. So that's amazing. And um, I completely agree with you. Computer science is all about logic and problem solving, right? Programming is all about logic and pro problem solving. This is why I think that so many people will be amazing at it. So they, there's this misconception that you have to be super, super duper smart. You have to be smart, of course, but it's all about logic. If you have good logic and you know, you can just learn a language that you're interested in and solve problems. That's amazing. And it's, it's just so fascinating. It's like sometimes debugging is like being a detective. <laughs> um, and then uh, Safra says, uh, my website design is amazing. How did I make it? I cheated. And I will tell you why in a second. But I cheated by actually uh, using Squarespace. And I did that because it's also a blog. And I wanted to save myself time. Um, because if you're writing a blog and you want to add a page and like make it dynamic and all that stuff, either you have to build that all so that it works but you know obviously if there's something that already works let's just use that um or you have to add a page and everything every time and it's not going to be so dynamic and, and nice so i decided for the sake of saving time um to use um oh my god i forgot what it's called where content management system yeah content management system so you know wordpress or um for example, Squarespace, they provide content management um, systems. And uh, yes, this is why I decided to go with Squarespace. But yeah, they're really, really nice. And you can do some uh, potentially um, customized stuff. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> Hi, guy. I, th I hope you're doing well as well. Hi from the US. I'm not at, in London, Google anymore. So yeah, taking the same leap as you. <laughs> um, Ildar, once you understand MVC concept, Angular, etc., you'll become easy to deal with. Deal with. Yeah, <clears throat> I need to understand that. That is something that I've been bad at and I will actually focus on that today. Hopefully I'll be able to crack it and I really, really hope that I can film that Frameworks video next next week and publish it <laughs> well around christmas time um but yeah if i do do that i will let you guys know and maybe i will live stream if if you want me to live stream myself video um filming the uh the video for frameworks please comment here because i can oh the only problem is that i record voice oh no i'll i'll, I'll, I'll figure it out i'll figure it out because I have an external microphone, I don't know if you've noticed in my videos, I have an external microphone that's like clipped onto my clothing. And so I normally plug that into my phone and then it, the phone records the sound. But yeah, I can do it with either my laptop or just some device, some other device. We'll, we'll see. I can, I, can, uh, I can manage to film it if you guys want me to. Um... Uh, me, Thakar, I think YouTube's algorithm is too complicated. It's, it's way too complicated, but like in a good way, because YouTube wants you to, um, watch videos that are relevant to you. Right. So yeah, that's, that's a good thing because it suggests stuff that you'd like to watch, which is amazing. And, um, yeah, when it comes to ranking for videos, it is complicated, but you always have to remember with all these platforms, with all the, I don't know, Instagram, Facebook and all that stuff. The thing is, the platform has its own goals. So if Instagram's goal is to keep you as much for as much time on the platform as you'd like, 
as as you can or as they can, um, they will reward that behavior. So you just have to think about, okay, what behavior do, do they want from me? Because then they will reward you reward your behavior for that. Um, and then Hugh is saying, glad you mentioned me. I'm glad I mentioned you too. Um, um, and then Yulia, how, when you edit videos, what program do you use? What program would you recommend for a beginner and how would you learn it? I would recommend, uh, thank you for that question. Yuli. Um, I would recommend starting with maybe, um, iMovie or something simple like that, just to understand the logic of cutting and putting things together. But otherwise I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro and I, I like it. And so I would recommend learning that. Um, so yeah, and I've learned it and I'm learning it through YouTube. YouTube videos is everything. Actually guys, speaking of YouTube videos and um, <clears throat> stuff, I actually just, um, I've just book not bookmarked, but it's one of the tabs on my laptop. Because I was watching about the um, just blockchain stuff. And let me show you. I found this. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's good. But I found this video. Um, creating a blockchain with JavaScript. So basically it's a tutorial on how you can. Well, from what I understand. Again, disclaimer. I have not watched it. I don't know what, if it's good or not. But it looks cool. Um, yeah. I will try that for sure. But yeah, YouTube is a great sp place to find tutorials as well. So whether you're looking for tutorials on how to edit videos or how to um, create a blockchain, um, your first blockchain technology with JavaScript, it's good. Then, hi, how are you? Very sincere. Hi, Sirkan. I'm very good or if you're asking how am i very sincere i don't know i'm just talking the truth but i'm good otherwise how are you doing um and hello hi rickeri uh sorry if i'm mispronouncing guys your name your name guys your names jesus i need my coffee uh your names guys um yeah i'm just bad at names but um hi from the us um Abraham, you said you wanted to study data structures. Hacker Rank is a good place. Awesome. Thank you so much. I will record it all and I will, um, yeah, I will, I will then check it out. Thank you so much. Very, very helpful. If, if you guys have any uh, coding resources, please do share them. Uh, what do you think um, Facebook use our personal information to other companies and send you ads to make money? Is it legal or not? Um, Technically, it is everything they do is legal. I mean, they don't send your information. They're not like, um, Thakar is, I don't know, looking up how to, how to make watermelon slushies. <laughs> and they're like, okay, so he must like watermelons. He must need the equipment for it. So they're not like, okay, let's let's take the, the company and send it our information there. No, 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 no. The way it works, and the thing is, I've advertised some stuff on Facebook. So I see what advertisers see. It's not that intrusive. So basically what they do is uh, they can be like, okay, so I want to target people who are... So you have a few qualifiers, you have countries, you know, like what countries they're in, what languages they speak, um, what age they are. So you can de de define the bracket. Um, you can define, because for example, you know that um, something you're creating is for, let's say it's, it's like a gaming thing. Yeah, it's, it will be relevant for boys from 13 to, because I think that's the lowest they can go. Um, cause I think, I think you're not allowed to have technically not allowed to have a Facebook account until you're 12 or 13 by law. Um, and so from 13 to 18, let's say that's like the, the age category. And they're like, yeah, this product will be, or maybe this ad, this ad in particular will be super, super relevant 
to these people um, because it has this language, because it's, it has these characters that I know they like. Because, for example, if you use characters that older generations will know, younger generations might not know them. And so what's the point of this ad? Um, and then they're like, okay, so gender and then interests. You can um, basically filter by interests. So you're not actually looking up a person and being like, I want this person. Like, here's information on this person. No, they can just like filter out audiences. So technically they're not seeing what you're doing. So you're fine. <laughs> um, um, Imran, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Your channel is my favorite. I love your creative content. Can you share some tips to become better in programming? I'm a beginner. Thank you so much, first of all. I, it really means a lot that you like my channel, my content. Uh, my advice is, I don't know what you're um, learning, what languages you're learning, on what platforms, but my advice is keep on doing, keep on doing it. And the biggest motivator probably is um, if you find projects for yourself to create. So for example, um, I want to, as my first project, I want to create a calculator. And then you're like, okay, let's create this calculator. It's, it's going to be great. Oh, can I change colors? Can I do this? Can I do this? Can it light, light up or something like that, you know? Um, so create projects for yourself and that will motivate you to learn more. That will motivate you to um, experiment. And just don't worry about, if you don't know something, don't worry about Googling it. That's, that's how a lot of people are coding. They Google how things are done. I've seen how uh, this, there's this one wonderful girl at Google with me. She's now in DeepMind. She's super smart. She's amazing. Um, she was helping me with some, some stuff to code a Google sheet to kind of create a plugin. And she was looking up half of the stuff online and it was amazing because, you know, there's, there are people who have already solved this problem and so you can just learn from them. So don't be afraid of Googling things. And then Saf Safraz, have I invested in cryptocurrency? No. And to be honest, I'm a little worried to do that. <laughs> have you? Um... Hasinur, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing names. Um, how you approach a programming problem? Um, well, just like with any prog problem, if you know, if you, it, it depends on the complexity, right? Um, there are different factors to consider, different logic um, to think about. I haven't really tackled because, like I said, I'm learning how to code. This is not my. I am not a developer. Um, sometimes I will map it out by hand, just drawing things like the way logic is. So uh, for me, that has worked, but for more complicated problems, I don't know if that will work. So maybe you will have to break it down into parts and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have experience with that, but yeah, what about you? Well, how do you do that? Um, oh, hey, Seth, right? <laughs> hi, Seth. And Deepak, hi, hi guys. Um, I'm very happy that you guys have joined and I just got another question because I was going to say I was going to wrap it up, but you guys are bringing me questions. All right, I'll answer them. Um, to find answers for coding problems, I would suggest not Googling it, but stack overflowing it. Great resource. Completely agreed. I was just thinking, you know, like, because a lot of the times if you're Googling a problem, it will uh, bring Stack Overflow really high up on the uh, results list. So you can, um, you can do that. Hey, I'm an Indian YouTuber. What do you think about India? I love India. I actually went to New Delhi for a wedding this time last year and it was amazing. Uh, we also went to Accra and so uh, Taj Mahal at um, dawn, uh, sunrise, sunrise. And it was just beautiful. It was so amazing. It was like a five day trip. It was crazy. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was insane. 
but I love it. It's great. I really want to go, go back. My boyfriend and I are obsessed with Indian food um, and we can't find any good Indian food here. Uh, living in London was good for that, but yeah. And um, tips for staying focused. So uh, my that's one of my problems because I have so many ideas and I'm always thinking about how I can, I don't know, just like 15,000 things at the same time. Um, and um, the thing that I use is, do you know the Pomodoro technique? So that's a timer and it used to be, from what I understand, it used to be like actual physical timer, but I use the Marinara timer, which is the online version of it. And I've read somewhere, what still was at uni, that um, the best ratio of productivity is 52 minutes of work versus 17 minutes of uh, break. So I would just set up my Pomodoro Marinara uh, timer to, or any timer, uh, but that one's very convenient because it can you can stack up all these um, things. You love Pomodoro, yes, it's amazing. So try seven, uh, 52, 17. Uh, apparently it's very good. I've only done that, so I don't really know, but they say that it's the perfect ratio of productivity to non-productivity. So yeah, it's it's great. So that's that's what I do. What about you? What what do you do? Because I would love to hear like, you know, tips from you. Um, Rickieri. Oh no, wait. Sorry, I'm 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 skipping a lot of things. Um, Ibrahim, you just you just said you have a friend who is in DeepMind. Could you please ask her if a master's degree is essential for research engineer job at DeepMind? Um, I can definitely ask her. Um, I think it's not required as long as you are. The thing is, if you are um, searching for a job um, on the Google Careers website, it will tell you what is required. And a lot of the times, masters is not required, but it's more about your skills. It's more about what you can do. And um, yeah, but I know like she, she works there and she's worked as a, she had a technical role at YouTube before that, but it wasn't, she wasn't actually coding. So she just got in there because she did some coding before that, I think. No, she wasn't at Twitter. Her sister was at Twitter. But in any case, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's possible. Just look at the job descriptions. I don't think that masters are required as long as you're very good and you can prove it because obviously these people will test you. Um, have you heard of, um, cybery? I think it's great to learn about cybersecurity. No, I actually haven't heard about cybery. Thank you for uh, letting me know. I will check it out. And again, I will make a list of resources. Actually, that's a good idea. I will make a, a list of resources and in, um, Google spreadsheet. Yeah. And send it to you guys. Yeah, I will keep you updated on the progress. <laughs> so if you have any additional resources, please send them to me because obviously, yeah, I don't know about everything, but let me know if uh, there's something that's good and you'll enjoy. Um, hey, I really hope I get a girlfriend like you. Uh, did you talk about your new job? Um, so yeah, my, my new job, I am just like, to let you know guys, again, I'm not a developer. <laughs> uh, that's my hobby, I learn it on the side. I'm on the like business side of things, marketing and all that stuff. Uh, my job currently is I am a global entrepreneur in residence at um, CU Boulder, which is a university here in Colorado. And um, my team is kind of like a startup within a university, which is fascinating. And um, our job, our, our goal is to increase, um, increase in innovations, encourage innovations and entrepreneurship within the university. So we're just doing a lot of, a lot of projects um, to do with that. And I love it because I had my first mentorship um, recently with a startup and it was amazing that's that's what i'm supposed to do i'm supposed to mentor entrepreneurs and just help with the project so i love it i find it so rewarding <laughs> um Ricchieri. i'm very sorry if i'm mispronouncing names um i'm a developer with 10 years of experience in brazil and i want to find some company in the u.s that can contract me full-time 100 percent remote do you think that is possible or am I losing time? 
Um, I would say that you can definitely do that. Um, just it's the matter of finding that company. Um, a lot of the bigger companies prefer to have their developers working there and there. So I don't know. But I mean, check out, um, check out uh, jobs in Brazil. There are a lot of US companies. I think Google has an office in Sao Paulo, um, for example, and I'm sure they have positions. Just check it out. As well. That also is a possibility. So it's a US company. Uh, it's very bad connection. Huh. Oh no, very bad connection is gone. No more, no more stuff. Um, what are the cool, exciting new startups in the USA? Oh, there's so many. I am just overwhelmed, to be honest. I can't pinpoint one right now. So many, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm usually, uh, I'm using Linux base and Windows base hosting, but Windows base hosting is costly. Which would you use? Oh my God, I'm so bad at this. I'm very sorry. I cannot answer that question. Um, I would recommend going to like a specialist forum to talk about this because I'm not qualified. Sorry. Uh, which one am I using? Um, I am using right now I'm using in terms of hosting. I just use like my website currently is being hosted by GoDaddy. <laughs> um, I live in Agra, but I think, uh, you weren't following me. Uh, I, I think I was not following you at the time. Yeah, I think, um, I don't know. I went a year ago and I posted it on my personal account because I have two Instagram accounts, um, Coding Blonde and my personal one is Masha Loves Chocolate. Um, I don't post there that much, but yeah, it's a different type of content. It's just me um, and my friends. Um, Hawara. Hi from Kurdistan. Uh, do you think HTML is a good start to learn programming and great videos, by the way? Thank you very much. And I think that was the perfect leeway into the programming world because you are, um, yeah, it's, it's basically, it's very simple and you are understanding the basics of it all. I think I have a video on HTML, so go check that out on my channel after this video finishes. Um, and then Seth says, uh, I keep a strong morning routine for 30 minutes yoga meditation and 30 minutes of reading while drinking coffee and then spend five minutes planning out my day and get started. Then I run exercise midday or evening. And then he also says, I love Cyber. Just start using it. Thank you. I will start using that. And your morning routine sounds amazing. I am trying to get into meditation. Um, I'm very bad at finding time. But um, yeah, hopefully I can follow your example. Um, you want to learn cybersecurity and ethical hacking, you need to first learn programming languages like C, Python, Ruby, PHP is a must. All right, well, I'm, I have been, I've started learning the basics of Python and Ruby. So um, hopefully that will help me. Thank you though. And Ildar, how does your current university project have a website? Does your current university project have a website or something? Uh, yes. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything. Um, I, I don't have anything to do with that uh, website. There is a page on me. You can find it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's basically if you search for University of Boulder, um, see you oh my god i'll just i'll just open the link oh my god okay so it's colorado i think colorado yeah so there it is there is the address colorado.edu slash innovate yeah so that's that's where i am and i think i'm i think i'm here Sorry, the comments just popped up and stuff. Yes, entrepreneurial space, global entrepreneurs in residence. That that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's about us. And I don't know where is the page with actually my face on it, but I mean, yeah, you can see my face here. <laughs> uh, but it's a really cool program. If anyone's interested, a lot of universities started hosting this, and 
it's really amazing. Um, okay. Um, if the win if the window based hosting is more expensive than switch to Linux, it's not a huge difference at all which one you choose to use. Thank you for the advice. I hope that Thakar Thakar sorry if I'm mispronouncing this um, has seen this. So make sure you uh, read Seth's comment. Developer, the 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 I don't know the developer. <laughs> um. Hello, Ibrahim. Uh, how young are you and where are you from? Um, I am from Russia originally. Um, that's my, Russian is my first language, but um, I have lived in the UK for a while. Um, start doing Headspace app at night before bed and first thing in the morning if you want to get into meditation. I actually have Headspace. So before leaving Google, Google has discount. It's like a huge discount on Headspace. I think it's like $12 per year. And before leaving it, literally five days before leaving it, I started Headspace and I use it once since. I'm very bad, I'm telling you. I really need to develop it into a habit, but thank you. Like, I need to start using it. Because um, I did this, um, I don't know if you've heard about this uh, book, Search Inside Yourself. It's really, really good. It's been, it was written by, um, it, it was written by, oh my God, uh, an ex-Googler. And they've created it into a training and it's very, very good. It's two and a half days training. I did that and it was amazing. Yeah, it's just had the time when I was applying for my US visa and it really helped me calm down. A lot of people have different opinions on what is the best, um, what is the best programming languages for beginners. Uh, so 13431 Nottingham. Hello. First of all, I like Nottingham. Um, and Seth, it's search inside yourself. Uli Elie, Uliana, who is amazing, just commented below. That's the, that's the, she's a booktuber. She's amazing. Um, but she, she her videos in, are in Russian. So I don't think you'll understand them, but she's, she's awesome. Um, so my, my, um, in my opinion, I think you should start with learning the basics of HTML and then going up from there, because I think it's, the easiest one to learn and it's the one language and CSS as well, but it's, you know, good to understand, um, good to see what, um, I'll, I'll rephrase that. I'll start that again. <laughs> Basically, uh, it's one of those, uh, languages where if you type something, you can see immediate results, which is amazing, right? Because it's super motivating and you're like, oh, actually I'm building something. I'm actually creating something. So I would recommend starting with that because you understand that when you do something, it actually has a result and also teaches you the basics of um, how code works and syntax and all that stuff. So I would start with that. I have a video on that if you want. HTML, search my channel. Um, uh, Mirika is saying to Rikieri, you can probably find a full-time remote job in the US via Upwork. Masha, what do you think about, uh, what do you think helped you the most to gain good reputation and respect in technology early on? Oh my God, um, I can't say that I had a good a reputation and respect in technology. I, I am, I'm very sorry, I don't know what, what you mean about this, but um, just as long as you're passionate, as long as you are um, trying, as long as you are uh, keeping updated with what's happening, and I think this will be good for creating a reputation. I don't know what you mean by creating a reputation, uh, whether it is um, on social media or wh whether it is professionally. I would say that just do your best job wherever you are. That's that's the main thing. Meet the card developer. I think the I think Windows based hosting is a more secure. Developer, that's not true at all. Um, I have been use, doing a ton of hosting on different types of servers lately use Linux for everything. Are you hosting through? Okay, I don't know these ones. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys are talking between each other. I love it. Um, so yeah, I've already responded to what the book is. Search inside yourself. It's amazing. Um, 
and um, HTML and CSS are in programming languages, their markup, but they basically, uh, you basically have to start from there. It gets you used to code and prepared. For I completely agree with you. I think that um, their code, it's still writing code, right? And to get into the programming world, they're their best leeway. And then Alona is saying, hello, Masha, just joined the stream. I used Headspace previously, but I... Uh, but then I discovered Calm App and I love it very much. So if you haven't tried it before, highly recommend it. Oh, amazing. So Calm App developer, put that on your list as well. Calm App. Thank you, Alona. Um, what is my favorite book? Oh my God, there there have been so many. The most recent one is um, Flowers for Algernon. Have you guys um, read uh, Flowers for Algernon? It is amazing and I cried so much in the end it was super super emotional it's 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 amazing it's it's basically like I don't know so basically I'll just tell you a little bit so that you get interested because I think everybody would be super interested in this so it's about a, a laboratory that performs a an IQ enhancing um, IQ enhancing surgery first on a rat and then on a guy with a very very low IQ and it talks about and it's basically like a journal of this guy um, writing down his thoughts and you can see you have to read this book because not listen to it or anything um, yeah it's it's written like he is writing it so at first you see a lot of grammar mistakes and all that stuff and then he as his um, intellect does increase, because this is like science fiction, um, you can see how mistakes disappear and all that stuff. And it's, it's fascinating. Read it, definitely. Flowers for Algernon. Um, I'm happy that my old high school and middle school are adding coding classes and trying to get kids into coding at a younger age. I just wish they started when I was younger. Trust me, me too. <laughs> And Yuna's video, yes, amazing book. Yeah, I recommended that book to my sister who is also watching <laughs> this um, live stream. Antonella, do you listen to podcasts? If so, what have you, some of your favorites? Oh, yes, I love podcasts. Um, I used to listen to them a lot while I was in London because the commute is horrible and it's nice to be able to distract yourself from the fact that people are like packed next to you on the tube. Um, I loved, so I got obsessed with So Money by Farnoosh Tarabi. She's amazing. I just, yeah, she's, seriously, I have a girl crush on her. Um, then I loved Entrepreneur and Fire was amazing. I think Accidental Creative was also amazing. There are quite a few other ones, but I can write a blog post about it if you want. Um, also, what are your pod podcasts? What what are you um, what are you listening to? Um, um, follow up to Helmi's question: Do you have any favorite Russian authors? Um, I got obsessed with Dostoevsky at some point. Um, I was literally reading every single thing <laughs> up until I found this really really funny. I think it was yeah, it was Dostoevsky. Really really funny tiny story about a man who got uh, eaten by a crocodile that was like a display at a St. Petersburg gallery or whatever. It was really weird. But yeah, I was obsessed with Dostoevsky at some point. Um, I still find some stuff where, you know, uh, crime and punishment, for example, is being resembled in something like Woody Allen would use that the mo motives in his video or something like that, and I find it fascinating. What about yours? What's your favorite Russian author? Um, Ildar. Um, it does not. Um, oh my God. It doesn't really matter which language to start with. Most basic concepts are very similar from language to language. However, when you dive deeper to more advanced functionality and various APIs and frameworks, that's where the troubles begin. So yeah, here's your question for the beginners. Yeah, but I still think that, you know, if you start with HTML and CSS, 
it gives you, as my friend has put it, um, immediate gratification because you can see what you've created. It's like, it's there. And it's something that you understand because we all know websites and we know how they work, right? So yeah. Um, uh, then, yeah, I think um, developer and Nick Becker are talking to each other about following each other on Instagram, which is amazing. Um, Yula is saying the S Town podcast is pretty cool. Thank you. I'll check it out. Um, and oh, you guys are working. So, Seth, you guys are working on a podcast. That's amazing. Ah, that's awesome. Well, please tell me what they are when they come out. I would love to listen to them because um, I love podcasts. With the help of Instagram, I found your channel. Yeah. Um, um, Russia, hello, thank you for, uh, for making videos on basic uh, computer science uh, concepts. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy it. And um, if you have any particular requests, uh, please let me know. Uh, do you drink energy drinks, Jonathan? No, I don't. I used to, while well, I was at university, during my dissertation and before the exams, but I really don't like the way I feel after them, so I don't. Do you? Um, Antonella, I just started listening to Syntex today, their episode on failure, and I really enjoy it. I am excited to keep listening to that one. Thank you. Um, I will um, follow that one too. And then Hanurag is saying, Russia's awesome, Maria Sharapova is my favorite. Um, yeah, she's great. <laughs> uh, my real name is Maria as well, so yeah, just saying. Um, then podcasts. Oh, thank you, my God. Tim Ferriss, The Brandon Show, Masters of Scale, Quick Brain, Syntax. Okay, Syntax. Um, again, Freakonomics Radio. Thank you so much. That's amazing. I will start binge podcasting. Uh, Matthew Dove, if America and Russia had an intense badminton match, who would you badminton match? Who would you root for? I no, no, I would not. <laughs> I would just make cookies for everyone. Does that qualify as an answer? Because I, I don't like about I don't like these like political things whatever they, they can do it themselves and make cookies for everyone and spread love to everyone does that make sense um all right love this tayaski tolstoy pushkin uh vadalaskin and bulgakov yeah um i i love them all i have never heard of the vadalaskin which is interesting but uh yeah obviously tolstoy pushkin we actually have a very very ah oh, you won't be able to understand this as a play on word a joke with my sister where I was reading uh, Anna Karenina by Tol Tolstoy on um, on a plane and um, so it was my sister and my mom and me sitting on a plane row and uh, my sister asked my mom what am I reading <clears throat> and she says Anna Karenina Tolstoy and I hear Anna Karenina Atstoy um, which is, which means like bullshit, like Anna Karenina's bullshit. And, um, I was like, what? Bullshit? What do you mean bullshit? It's classics. So yeah, we had a very funny misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah. She's saying true story. Um, yeah, that, that was really funny. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're awesome. Um, Patrick, what brought you to London from home and then now to Colorado? So Patrick, I, um, when I was 14, I actually left uh, Moscow to go to the UK and I studied in a boarding school, then I studied in Scotland. I don't know if you've heard St. Andrews, I've studied at St. Andrews and then I did my master's in Madrid. I uh, worked at a couple of startups in Madrid remotely and from Russia and then I was in London for my job at Google. And now I'm in Colorado because I have a job here and also I have moved in with my boyfriend who lives here because he's from here. Um, hence the Ameri slightly American accent that you might hear in my really weird accent. Um, so 
uh, developer, I'm now following you. My Instagram name now is Smile Hacker. If I'm not following you, I will follow you too. And um, the new hot thing right now is AI and ML. Uh, it'd be nice if you made videos on that. I'm very interested on L NLP. I'm a web developer, by the way. I actually made a video on AI not that long ago, so check it out. I don't know if you, like, let me know what you think about it. It's not very uh, in-depth because, like, my mission is to help people enter the industry. I don't want to create content for the, that is super complicated. I just want to make, like, an intro video. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the purpose of it. But check it out. I'd love to hear your... Um, uh, your ideas on that and developer Tolstoy and Dostoevsky's love Dostoevsky love so I uh, have you read crime and punishment if you have watch um oh my god what it was called match point watch match point by Woody Allen it's uh like just yeah I love it um do you know full snake developer and Instagram I don't think I full snack snack yes snack yes and then, um, uh, what do you think about net neutrality? I think that net neutrality is something that we need. And I am absolutely devastated by the fact that they're trying to take it away. Um, however, it's not the end. And hopefully they will not figure it out in the way that they want to. Um, yeah, I hate corruption. I absolutely despise these kind of processes. And... It makes me very sad. Yeah. Um, don't know, how do I know when I'm ready for my first job? Well, I mean, just do some projects. Do some complicated projects. See what people need, you know? It depends on what you want to do, right? So see what kind of projects people need. Try to do some freelance projects. Maybe you'll realize that you are more than prepared. Or maybe you'll realize that you do need to work on your skills, which is also a great, great starting point not starting point but great feedback um america love love the true story that we had with dostoevsky and uh at Stoy. <laughs> no sorry Tolstoy. um podcast recommendations software engineering daily flash forward and lore thank you guys this is amazing and um 13431 nottingham is um asking me where am I going to be celebrating Christmas and yes Seth Colorado Denver I work, work in Boulder and I live in Denver so if you're ever here please let me know I'd love to grab a coffee coffee or something uh it's, it's an amazing place it's so sunny right now it was actually it snowed yesterday but it's all melted because the sun is so active yeah, it's super beautiful. Um, I can't wait to be able to hike. But uh, to answer your question, um, 13431 Nottingham, I am going to uh, be here. Uh, it's actually going to be my first ever Christmas. Yes, guys, first ever Christmas. Because in Russia, our Christmas is on the 7th of January because Orthodox. And um, I never really celebrated it I mean like what can you do can you do go to a church I'm like eh. uh, we don't do that and because um, it's super religious super religious so our big thing with Christmas tree and everything um, is New Year's but and normally I would be there because it's my mom's birthday on the 26th of December but this year I can't make it unfortunately which I'm very, very sad about, to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'll stay here and I'll um, go to my boyfriend's parents because they cook really well and they have amazing stuff. So I'm gonna be celebrating Christmas like that. What about you? Um, and then, do, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so lost with this stuff. Um, she can code too here, by the way, learning how to uh, be great from ones like you. Yay, hello! I hope you're learning how to code and enjoying it. Um, I've seen the AI video of yours, very well done, and an intro to AI, awesome job. Thank you so much, this means a lot. Um, yeah, most of my videos are an intro, just so that you guys know, because I want to help people who are not in the industry, especially women, to get over the barrier of 
the way this industry is pretty intimidating. And, um, oh, Anorak says, Masha, no Christmas decoration at home. What do you mean? Um, no. Uh, um, excuse me. I have a Christmas tree here, and it has donuts on it. Thank you. Do you like my donuts? My donuts? Thank you. Yes, Christmas decorations, of course. Of course. It's just in the, in the corner that you don't see. Um... Uh, anyone going to see the new Star Wars movie? Oh, yes, um, maybe. I don't know. What are you? And then, um, Celia is saying, love Colorado. We had our first backpacking trip here, there. Yes, it's amazing. It's so beautiful. And, uh, meet Thakar. I think you're a good knowledge. Nice conversation with you, Coding Blonde. Thank you very much. It's very, very nice talking to you as well. I hope we can do it a regular thing. And we can make it a regular thing, Jesus. Um, any tips on young developers to get a job in big companies like Google or Apple? Just work on different projects and become the best you can be, you know? Just like develop your skills. That's, that's basically the best thing um, one can recommend you. And then... Um, you guys are talking about Star Wars, so a developer is saying to 13431 Nottingham, I like pronouncing the names, um, I just started watching the Star Wars actually, I'm the worst at being a nerd, haha, -ha, watching them in order, um, produced and they're so good. To be honest, I've never watched a Star Wars movie, so I, I'm there with you. <laughs> I need to start watching it because how can I be in this culture without having watched that. I, I barely survived my time at Google without having watched it. Um, watching The Last Jedi on Christmas Eve, it's the New Year tradition with my nine-year-old son. Oh, that's so cute. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. It's amazing. It's a very, very nice tradition. Hopefully it lasts a very, very long time and you don't run out of things to watch or like maybe you watch other... Um, it called Star Wars movies. <laughs> I'm going to watch The Last Jedi. It's an intimidating industry for everyone, but I bet more for so for women though. I love those donut ornaments. I need those. Thank you. Um, oh my god, I threw away the um, the the wrappers. But yes, I think that because of, there's so many stereotypes, you know, women really are intimidated um, from entering by, by the industry and they don't want to enter it straight away so I hope that I can hope that <laughs> um, Patrick Stevens oh my god developer Seth you gotta you gotta be a better nerd uh, get on the Star Wars bandwagon uh, so work on a portfolio instead of getting very deep and learning um, too many languages the bolt, I would recommend becoming good at something in particular. If you're spreading out your eggs, your basket is not going to be very deep, is it? So, um, do you like my new uh, metaphor? So yeah, I would say focus on something that you'd like to do. It's like with any job, you know? If you're good at something and you're really good, you stand out. If you just know the basics of everything, mm, like the amount of stuff you can do is probably not as specialized. And then, have you changed your laptop background to something with a Christmas tree? Not yet, but I'm planning to. <laughs> uh, plus, it snowed the day after, so it was more of a Christmassy mood. And uh, the way someone explained Star Wars to me was that it was all good versus evil, not allowing evil to overtake you, but it was. George Lucas's version of the Cold War that made it so interesting. Okay, now I want to watch it. Thank you. <laughs> I actually was intimidated by like, you know, 15 hour movies, but if it's actually that interesting, I love historical stuff. I just finished the second um, season of The Crown and oh my God, it's so good. Um, yeah. All right, guys, I actually have to go because I have a meeting uh, soon and I need to prepare for it. Uh, but thank you so much. No, don't call me Maria. I'm Masha. <laughs> That's my real name. My actual name is Masha. <laughs> um, 
Uh, be a master of one thing. Companies hire masters of specific things, not people who know a little bit about lots of things. And yeah, <laughs> please call me Masha. M A S H A. Not no R in there. No Marsha. Ma Masha. Masha. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's just every Maria in Russia is a Masha. It's just like every Catherine is a Kate or something. And I just hate Maria. So yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for joining guys um i really want to make this a regular thing um have an amazing amazing weekend and thank you for having coffee with me <laughs> all right bye good evening oh it's without a t on the end it's a bolt sorry <laughs> bye <laughs> bye guys <laughs>